All right, and now we're cooking. What's going on, you guys? So today's video, I'm going to be making basically a video about how to use your jab, all right? There's going to be a lot of things that I cover, but mainly what you're going to get out of this is just when to use it, how to use it, what you're using it for, and the many different ways you can use your hands. Because when we think about the jab, we only think about striking, which is a which is good, right? It's an offensive maneuver. It's meant to basically hit someone in the head, but the, the left hand or the right hand can be used to do a lot of things to set you up for that strike that you're looking for. Now, that being said, the way that you train is obviously gonna affect the way that you perform. Meaning that if you're always in front of, let's say, a wave mass and this is all you do, That's the way that you're gonna strike in front of an opponent, right? So let's say that you just train like this, there's an opponent in front of you. They're gonna read that quite fast, so you're gonna to wanna to make your training a little more dynamic because they're just gonna move. If they move out the way, you miss, and then you're just going to rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, right? So let's go on to a drill that we can use, right? So what you can do is obviously first get in your settling in jab, right? When I say you're settling in jab, I mean you're settled in and you're just pop, pop. Now that you've kind of cemented that into your nervous system, now let's start moving around a little bit. Because your opponent's gonna move around with you when you're ready to throw the jab, settle it, pop, then back to movement. Now, notice that even as I throw the jab, my right hand stays right around this area because not only am I thinking offensively, I have to think defensively about the things that can happen, all right? Because when we think, oh, you know what, I wanna go and I wanna punch, we leave ourselves open and anybody that's trained will be able to kind of read that behavior and then kind of capitalize on it. So, so that's, that's one of the details you wanna work on. Go in, keep the hand up high. Now, as you progress through your sparring rounds, you know, it's you're gonna develop all kinds of patterns, right, that your opponent's gonna read on you. If this is your, your best move, it might work the first time. It might work the second time. The third time is when your partner's gonna start reading your patterns, and they're gonna try to see what's open, like their body, like just moving in straight. And they're going to play that chess game of where like they're trying to navigate around your movements and techniques so that way they can open you up a little bit, right? So what you're going to want to start doing right after that is this, switching things up. Versus always coming in here, develop a nice pace of switching going left and going right. Because what's happening is as you're moving, your partner is always going to have to readjust themselves. And what's going on in their mind is timing. As you're moving, they're trying to time you moving so that way they can go in with the strike. Now, if you're always readjusting yourself, if they're aiming for your head, it's harder to follow that moving target. I hope that makes some kind of a sense. So now not only are you thinking about the jab, but you also have to understand you're a moving target and you gotta move your target all over the place, right? So move erratically, but rationally. <laughs> so always have your opponent in front of you. Now, creating distance is a good way to kind of reset yourself if you feel like you're getting yourself set up for a trap. When I say trap, I mean you can see your opponent just zoned in on you and you're like, oh, I got your number right now, all right? Take a step back and just move, all right? That being said, when it comes to the jab, go in high or go in low. Or go in high, stay low, or go in, I'm gonna strip there, with a pop, 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 pop. See how I'm always somewhere else after I throw the jab. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Just always do something different, all right? Anytime you throw a strike, you're gonna wanna keep your frame or have your frame somewhere else different, all right? So imagine yourself, you're sparring frame by frame. You just want that frame to look different in the next second. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, go ahead and ask, all right? See you later.